Once again, welcome back. I'm your host Avinash, and you are watching the Learning Destination. This is episode number nine, and where I'm going to talk about the World GUI interface. So so far now we were seeing mostly about the World CLI. It means that this particular series which I have started that is based on World CLI. And once it is completed, as now there is only one more sections which I am going to cover, and after that I will wind up this series. and then i will start another series that will be based on completely on graphical user interface it means that how we can handle the world through the graphical user interface that we are going to look into my next sessions into my next series that i will cover it later after this particular series so so in this sections the episode 09 if you have watched my episode 08 i was supposed to cover the http api with authentication but i have taken the world gui that means that how we can use the world into the graphical user interface the reason is that in my last episode whatever the configuration file we have used to deploy the world server the same configurations file we can use to deploy our world server into the graphical user interface and that is the reason that i have taken this episode uh, before the using http api section okay guys so now let's quickly go through the today's agenda the episode number 1 to 8 which i have already covered in my last sessions i have covered the deployment of the board and if you remember that in this episode 09 i was supposed to cover the http api with authentication the the reason i had decided to cover the vault ui uh, before the http api because whatever the configuration file we have used in deployment vault the same configurations file we can use in vault user interface it means that there is slightly change to enable the user interface and we can use the same configuration file the configuration file which we have used in our previous section so what are that the minor changes that we are going to see now so again i have divided it into the two sections first section is that we will see that how we can enable the user interface and secondly if uh, those who have already watched my episode number 08 they definitely know about it how to unseal the keys or what what is the meaning of the unseal keys right and then how we can log into the world server using the user interface so now let's get back on the practical session and let's see that how we can achieve it okay guys so now let's get back on the practical sessions in order to start your world server into the gui mode you need to create some directory and i am going to create world so i am going to create two directory world and inside that data now we need to reach here in this directory and now we can make one of the file config.scl which we are going to use to start the world server using this configuration file and inside that we need to paste these data so those who doesn't aware about that what does it mean they can watch my episode number 08 where i have clearly given the explanations about each parameter which is being used inside the configuration file so once you see my episode number 08 your doubt about the different parameter will be completely clear so go ahead and watch my episode number 08 okay so there is only one options uh, that is called ui that you need to enable it in order to access your world server into the uh, gui mode if you make it false then you cannot access your world server into user interface into graphical user interface okay so make sure that this option should be true right in in storage i am going to use as a file storage so i can say file and i am going to allow it on each ip address on all ip address so i am not specific binding it on a specific ip address but in your case if you are if you are world server running under the cluster and you are using any load balancer so you can put here the load balancer ip address or the dns name of your load balancer and if your world server is running on ec2 instance or uh, gcp instance so you can put the ip address of that particular instance just make sure that these ports should be open in under your security config okay so now we are going to start our world server using this configuration file and the command is pretty much simple world server 
hyphen and then we can use this config and we need to define the configurations file. So now world server is successfully started and this uh, this machine so basically I am using one of the EC2 means um, machine and uh, this particular world server is running on my AWS EC2 machine. So this is particular my EC2 instance and this is the IP address. So in order to access your board server into the GUI mode, you need to put your IP address. Then you need to put your uh, 8200, which is the listener, uh, which is the port where my board server is currently running. And you need to mention the UI, user interface. The moment when you say, right, then after that, it asks the key shares and threshold value. We need to put this value in order to initialize it. So those who doesn't know about what is the key share, what is the threshold value and the initialize. Once again, I would like to remind you go and watch my episode number 08. Your uh, questions about these things will be completely clear. So I'm going to take the keys five and threshold value three and I say initialize. Right. So there is a two option. One is continue to unseal. But before unseal, we need the key. So we need to download these keys. So we need to click here. So we have downloaded the keys. Now we are going to use one by one keys to unseal this particular. So let's open it first. So this is the file which you have downloaded. We say continue to unseal. So we will use first three keys. So we are going to use this key first. Let's copy it and save. And you can see the progress. If you can watch, this is coming in green color, right? And as of now, uh, status is sailed. So let's use the second case because the threshold value I have given the three, three, that means at least we need to use the three keys. And so you see this progress is continuously increasing. Now we are going to use the third keys at the moment we will, when we will use the third keys it will completely unsell. Key must be a valid. Okay, so something I wrongly put. Let's put once again. Okay, now it is asking for token and the token we have also received the token root token that we need to provide but error came the error appeared because i didn't copy the key correctly i missed this particular syntax s so this time i am copying the copying it correctly and i'm pasting it here, sign it. So now finally, bingo, we are inside our board web based UI interface. And you can see the status is unsealed. So earlier it was sealed, now it is completely unsealed. So guys, I'm not going as of now with the different uh, tabs of under the web based user interface because I'm going to cover it on the separate uh, series that is called the world web based user interface and I am going to um, I am going to cover each topics one by one under that particular series. So don't worry as of now on that particular point because def after that we will have the separate sessions on board web based user interface and I am going to explain it all the tabs one by one and how we can make the entry that I am also going to show you in that particular series. So just stay tuned with the learning destinations. Okay guys, so now let's quickly recap that what we have done. So basically we have enabled our uh, user interface inside the configuration file and the option is UI equal true and that we need to make it true so we can access it our board server into the GUI mode. In the second section, we have seen that how we can define the key shares value and the threshold value. Finally, we have downloaded the keys and using that downloaded keys, we have finally sealed, unsealed our board server and we got login inside the web based GUI interface of the world server. So guys, in my upcoming sessions, I am going to cover uh, the HTTP API with authentication, which is again going to be a very knowledgeable sessions. Uh, 
it was supposed to cover in the episode 09 but since our episode 08 and uh, 09 the user interface which i have taken just now there was much more similarity between the configuration file and that's how that i decided to cover it before this session so now this is using the http api with authentication so i am going to cover in episode number 10 and this will be the last sessions of this series volt, uh, volt server hashicorp volt server cli based and episode number 10 will be the last topic of this series so after that i will be starting completely hashicorp based gui interface series so don't miss it so yeah, that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any queries, you write me in the comment sections and I will take it and answer it there only. So stay tuned with the learning destinations and I will see you in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching us. Take care, stay fit, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe the learning destination.